that Canada will be a full partner in the International Space Station through 2024, and as a result, Canada will send two more astronauts into space. Industry Minister James Moore made it official, announcing Canada's continued contribution to the International Space Station for another four years. So it's especially no good news for our next two guests. So the pledge means Canadian astronauts Jeremy Hansen and David St. Jacques will make the trip to the orbiting laboratory, possibly within the next 10 years. And they join us from Ottawa. Gentlemen, so good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Beverly. I know um, it, the, how excited everybody was when you were announced as the new astronauts in 2009, but, you know, the Canadian Space Agency, after Chris Hadfield returned, we, you know, nobody was quite sure, what, you know, when the next trip might be. So when the industry minister made that announcement, what was your reaction, I guess, and I'll just begin with you, Jeremy. Well, we're definitely excited that we're, we're seeing the next steps being taken to ensure both Davin and I will have the opportunity to fly in space, so that's exciting for both of us. And uh, it's, we kind of go back to our role as astronauts. Now we continue pre to prepare to fly in space, and we know that in the next coming years that an opportunity will present itself uh, for both of us. And in the meantime, Debbie, tell me, you know, because there's, there's two of you, they're saying that perhaps the next trip might happen before 2019. And I know there's two of you, and I know it's all very scientific as to who gets to go. But as the two of you looked at each other in that announcement, what were you saying to one another? Well, <laughs> who goes first? Yeah, you? him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, and understandable, because it's going to be mission-specific. There is that aspect, uh, they're trying to make the teams uh, also, uh, you know, optimize the composition of the whole entire crew. Um, there's all sorts of, uh, and we have very different profiles, Jeremy and I, so we're a good kind of uh, combination, I think, for, for Canada to have. Uh, and you know, really, it's not our decision, and I'm glad it's not my decision for sure to decide who goes. <laughs> our, our job is to train, and that's big enough of a job already, just to get, be ready for the day the, the call comes. Yeah, you know, and the years of training that'll go into that. But gentlemen, let me ask you what it means that Canada would um, support once again and give money to the International Space Station so that those credits build up. What does that mean in, in terms of Canada's participation? So at this point, when we commit to going to 2024, it's uh, our mandate from the government now to, to speak and work with our international partners to negotiate how Canada will participate into the future. And so when you participate in a program like the International Space Station, uh, we have to, I guess, pay our dues. And we'll do that by finding technology that we can contribute to the space program that we can build here in Canada. And so these are, this was an important step for us so that we can take those next steps to find out where are we going with our technology. We're all very familiar. To date, we, we've uh, created Canada Arm for Space Shuttle and then Canada Arm 2 for the space station, which is doing a lot of amazing work. In fact, last week just did something incredible where it moved an entire huge module from one location to a new location, which is going to allow us to dock the new vehicles that are being built uh, for the future of the space station. And we need to figure out what our next new technologies will be. And so we can take those steps now. And they gave us one day of training on how to fight flight. And, David, let me ask you this, because Chris Hadfield, of course, um, well, he was the last Canadian, he commanded the ISS, but he tweeted when that announcement um, was made, and what he tweeted was, uh, was wondering um, which spaceship David and Jeremy will fly, Soyuz, Dragon, or Boeing's CST. Any idea? Any preference? No idea, no idea. <laughs> No, this is the future is uh, bright but uh, very undefined. Yeah, I would and say, and we're not picky. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll take any ride up. It will be, I mean, uh, any of these will be exciting, uh, of course. Uh, we right now, uh, Soyuz is the only ride uh, to space. Uh, but uh, there's these two American companies you mentioned, SpaceX and Boeing, working hard to come up with a you know crew-rated and safe uh, way to go to space. Probably in the next I don't know four or five years. So right in that time frame for our first flight, maybe that will be uh, an option. We'll know when the time comes to start training. We'll uh, we'll have to pick uh, which one we uh, we train on. Uh, so it's very very exciting. Uh, just that prospect of perhaps uh, flying on a, a new generation vehicle. Well, it's very, very exciting for Canadians and for the participation once again. Jeremy Hansen and David St. Jacques, thank you both for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.